Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Simply Horses update. I just had to make a video about it. We have wagons now. I'm so excited to have to share this with you. You can hitch up horses with your little harnesses to a wagon or a cart. There are three types of wagons. There's the cart, which can take one to two horses. The wagon can take two to four horses. And the Vardo, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, can take four to six. However, I've been rather unlucky and haven't managed to be able to hitch six. I've only been able to get a maximum of four so far. I'm not sure if that's a bug or if I'm just doing it wrong. But so far all I can get is a team of four. So I will show you guys how to do this. As well as a very awesome update, they have added the texture pack textures directly into the mod itself. So you no longer have to download the texture pack. That is very important for all you people that have been having trouble. Because since I've been unable to help you and there's been a lot of other issues with that, you don't have to worry about those issues anymore. Just install the mod and the textures will automatically be there. So, crafting the wagon. So first you need to craft the cart, which requires two sticks, a boat, and a chest, and a couple pieces of wood. So I'm going to put the wood there. Through all this red power stuff. And I need a boat. Like so. And then you need two sticks. And a chest. Oops. Like so. Or not. Oh, whoops, I have the wrong chest. Uh huh. There we go. So that gives you the cart. And then to make the wagon, so you first need a cart to make the wagon. Put the cart there. Okay, so you put two sticks at the top, your chest, your cart, two iron, and two wooden planks. Oh, sorry, one stick. And that gives you your wagon. And then to make the Vardo, you need a wagon. Then you need that, so you need a wagon, and then two wood planks, and you need a bunch of wool, like that. Okay, sorry, you need gold ingots for that. Okay, so gold ingots there. Wool all around. And a bed in the middle. That gives you your Vardo. And I'm just going to get rid of all that. Because I don't need it. And we are going to go and hook up some horses. So you can hook up Mustangs and Arabians to these carts too, but I prefer... Why do my horses keep escaping? Get over here. Okay. So... Gonna make sure none of them escaped. I went and bred a bunch of Clydesdales and I've divided them by color because in the horse world, most of the time when people actually have a team of 
the horses pulling a cart, they're all the same color and they all have similar markings. So that's why I've done that. So, the easiest way to do this is to set up two hitching posts. So I got two there. So first off, we just need the cart. So it can be pulled by one or two horses. I'm just going to move it over just a tad there, so it's kind of in between the two hitching posts. So then you can go and pick your horse. Um, the little cart can be pulled by one or two horses, so I'm going to pick two. So let's see here. Where are the two with the white on their chest? There's one. So you can now hitch horses together as well. And by the looks of it, I still have my full team attached to each other. So I'm just going to release them all by double clicking. Okay. And I'm going to take this one, right click on that one. So now I have two horses together as a team. Whoops. So I'm going to bring them out here. If my thing will not glitch. Okay, so there's one. Where's my other one? There it is. And then you can go and hitch them to a hitching post. So then it says Hitch and Clydesdale 28, because that's the texture for those two. So, to hitch a horse to another horse, you right click on one of them with a lasso, and then right click on the another one that you want to lead, but that will take them off your lasso and just hitch them to each other, so then they'll wander around together. So you have to right click, like you add him to him, and then you right click on this one to lead both of them, and that's how that works, and then you hitch them there. Then you have to select your cart by right clicking on it with the lasso and pick the first horse. Oh, and of course it's not going to work. It's a little glitchy occasionally. There we go. So you right click on the cart, then you right click on the horses, and it should, if you've done it properly, connect the horses together with the harness. And then you shift click, shift and right click to go on the cart, and you, you, you just tap the W arrow once, and they will go forward. And then you steer left or right using S and D, the default, uh, The default uh, movement buttons, and then to get them to stop, you hit the S key. But you don't have to hold W, and you don't have to hold S either, you just tap it once. And I don't know how to get them to gallop yet. Oh, there we go. You press the space key to get them to gallop. Just be careful turning because sometimes your cart will actually take damage if you turn too sharply. And same with your horses. If you're taking steep steep hills and such or galloping for long distance of times, they will get tired. So you can see these two are actually lowering their heads a bit. That's because they're taking damage. So if you work them too hard, eventually they will just stop. And then they will get tired. So you simply feed them something. Um, I normally feed them cake. One cake normally puts them back to their uh, original health. So that's the cart. If you just plain right click on it, you can store stuff in the cart. So let's just say I'm going to Put that in there. Put that in there too. And then you can carry it around. So it's like a giant cart. Or a giant chest. It holds just as much as a chest does. But when you break when you break the cart, um your inventory obviously comes back out. So to release the horses, double click on the cart. And these horses should still be attached together though, but they're not. That just figures. I have spent the past two days fiddling with this to try and get it to work. 
because it's very, uh, not glitchy, but it's very temperamental. So if you don't do it in exactly the right process, you will not, it won't work. So when you destroy your cart, it drops a cart. So that's interesting. So the next, next one to look at is the wagon. The wagon needs at least two horses to pull it. Um, it generally works better if you have four pulling the wagon. So I'm going to put that there. Scoot it over a bit. So the wagon can actually hold more, obviously. So when you have this filled, there's up and down arrows. So you can put more in the wagon than you can to the cart. So I have two horses there. I'm going to go grab two more, and I'm going to use a couple of these ones just to show you guys. Just to show you guys how this works. So I have two, like that. And I'm going to hitch them to this other hitching post, there. Move that over just a tad, like that. So, right click on there, onto your horse, it's not going to work, there, okay, so there's two of them, and then you select your card again, and hit that one. Okay, so I oh, put all four gone. of them onto the same, the same line. And you have to make sure they're all single file, or else it won't, uh, it won't pair them up properly. Because I've had that problem too. Okay. So they're all together. Right click on your cart. Right click on your horse. So that's the first one. And then you go and right click on the last one. And it will not work. This is kind of pissing me off. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be attached to him. Okay. There. 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 And there. So that'll pair up one team. There. There. And voila. It glitched again. You occasionally get this to happen if you don't do it right. It'll put a team of six, and then obviously you're going to have a couple gaps. So you just double click on your cart and try again. So you are supposed to be paired up with him. Oh, I did it again. Alright. Well, I'm just going to leave that for now. I showed you guys the controls anyway. Okay, so you come here. You come here. Okay, and I only want you two brown ones. There we go. Put you back in here. And release them from their cap door. Okay, I'm just going to leave those two over there. So the Vardo, which is my favorite needs a team of six. You can pull it with a team of four, but the horses tire out really quickly. So, that's what it looks like. And when you right click on it, you can put stuff in it. And there's also a bed. So it's very nomadic. Um, so when it's night time, which I'm going to kill the rain, move to night time, you can sleep in your bed. Like so. Ta-da! 
However, if you break your cart, it breaks the bed, so if you die, you will end up back at spawn point. The bed in the cart here does not work the same as a permanent bed in your house, because you're always moving this one. And there's something else with the code. Ugh. What are you doing out here? Didn't ask you to come back out. Stay there. Get over here. You were supposed to be in here, sir. Alright. Alright. So. That's how that works. And I'm going to go off cam and try and hitch six horses to this and see you guys later.